Hi there. So in part two of this series of tutorials about making deep and techy sounds inside Massive, I was going to show you how to make a tech house lead. I actually built this sound. It turned out a bit more like a pad type sound, but I thought it was a pretty cool sound anyway. So I'll show you how to make it. Here's the sound that we're going to make in this tutorial. <laughs> So it's quite a nice sort of deep kind of vibey sort of sound. They're the MIDI notes I've got going on. So I've got a kind of little bit of an arpeggiator type thing at the start of the riff and then just some kind of sustained notes really. So we can go ahead and initialize this preset and start setting these oscillators up here. So oscillator one is going to be a vulgar uh, wave and the pitch is going to stay at zero. The intensity is going to come down a little bit. We're actually going to make this a four month and we're going to do some envelope modulation on this intensity in a second and keep the amp on full and we're going to route this oscillator to both filter one and filter two. Now turn on oscillator two and I'm going to take the pitch of this up five semitones. It's going to be a sine triangle wave and we're going to keep the wave table position all the way to the right so it's just going to be playing a triangle wave. Uh, we're going to keep on spectrum, intensity on full, amp on full and it's going to be routed to both filter one and filter two. Oscillator three, turn that on. I'm going to take the pitch up of this by eight semitones, and it's going to stay as a square saw. So wavetable position all the way to the right. So we're just hearing a saw. Uh, int intensity is going to stay on full, amp on full, and oh, actually no, we're going to bring the amp down a little bit of this, make the oscillator a little bit quieter, and it's going to route to both filter one and filter two. And this is the crux of our sound, really. This keeping this pitch at zero and a plus five and plus eight with these deep techy sounds I really find that the crux of the sound is built from having a nice relationship between these three oscillators and getting some nice pitch relationships between the three of them as well so already we've got quite a nice rich harmonic sound that we're going to shape further with the filters and effects and stuff so for filter one I'm going to dial in a low pass four filter And um, we move the, the, the cutoff frequency just above halfway. The resonance is kind of down to about a quarter. The volume of the filter is on full. Uh, and keep the mix of the two, two filters mix right up to mix one. So we're just here in filter one for the time being. And, um, and that's about it for the filters, really. We're just going to start doing a bit of envelope modulation here. So with envelope one, I'm going to shape it a little bit like this with a tight attack and keep the decay around halfway, sustain, just bring it up a little bit and then I'm going to start modulating the cutoff frequency here this with this envelope so I'm pulling it around kind of in the reverse modulation so I'm going to get that nice shape and I'm also going to add this envelope modulation to the intensity of oscillator 1 so this is going to, by pulling it down, it's going to be pulling the format shift down in this this kind of shape. So in the same, it's going to be following the same kind of modulation, really, as this cutoff frequency. So we're getting some quite nice kind of sounds here by just kind of modulating this intensity knob here. So what we can do next is start modulating the, the volume envelope. So we're just getting a bit of a shorter, kind of less of a sustained sound. So pull the attack up to about a quarter and push the decay up a little bit. Bring the sustain right down. So we've got something like that now. It's got quite a nice stabby sound. I'm going to bring a bit of white noise into this sound now. Uh, we can route the white noise to filter one and pull the amp up a little bit. Getting a quite a nice bit of top end on the sound now. So we can go and dial, dial in a few effects as well here. So put a delay on there, turn the damp up to about three quarters of the way, push the feedback up a little bit, maybe bring the mix, the dry wet mix down a little bit and the left and right channels. I'm going to put one over two so it's quite a sort of slow, a slow de delay really on both channels both left and right channels. Go 
going to add a little bit of reverb here. So we already have a little bit of vibrato macroed in here from our initialized preset, so we can just bring a bit of that into the sound. And just dial it into taste. I'm going to give the sound two voices. I'm going to keep it as polyphonic so we can sort of play chords on it and stuff. Turn the pitch cut off on and just slide this a little bit of the way down just to thicken the sound up a little bit more. It gives us a bit of a chorusy edge to the sound. I'm going to make it sound really wide by turning the pan position on. Maybe give a bit more size on the reverb. Turn the feedback on and just bring the amp up a little bit just to thicken the sound further. That's our sound done really. One final thing is I kept these oscillators routed to both filters and we haven't actually got a filter activated in here but I'm just going to turn the volume of this filter up and now when I pull the mix slider down from mix one to mix two it's basically by pulling this down here it's just bypassing the filters. is just quite a nice option to have with the sound if we want to start automating this or even macro it up so So you can see the kind of creative opportunities there with this type of sound. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, then make sure you check out part three in this series where we're going to be making a kind of sequence type sound, a deep techie sequence sound in Native Instruments Massive. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.